Hello everyone, my name is Akshita Agrawal and I'm a clinical dietitian. Uh, today I ha I am making another uh, you know requested topic video. The topic is diabetes. A number of uh, you left a uh, you know comment in my comment section saying that I should make a video on diabetes. So uh, today through this video I would uh, clarify that what is diabetes, what is pre-diabetes, uh, what is uh, insulin resistance and then we will talk about how to manage it through diet. Uh, we will also try to answer some of the most frequently asked questions, common myths associated with diabetes. So uh, let us start with the video. So what is diabetes? Now uh, what happens is that whenever we eat uh, any food, the carbohydrate part of that food is broken down in our body into the simplest of the carbohydrate which is glucose. So glucose in common language, some people call it you know normal blood sugar also. So when this uh, uh, sugar enters our blood, it gives a signal to our pancreas to release this hormone known as insulin. Now the main function of insulin is to uh, you know transport this glucose to the cells so that they can derive energy from it and carry on with their normal metabolism. The, uh, also the second function is that whenever this requirement is met, all the additional sugar uh, is converted into glycogen and it is stored in liver as a reserve so what happens why uh, do we need this reserve so uh, say you are you know doing a physical activity and you usually do it for a period of 30 minutes and today uh, you exceeded it for you know maybe 45 minutes so where does the energy for these extra 15 minutes come from this uh, comes from the glycogen that is stored in your liver all the extra calorie uh, you know the sudden requirement for extra calorie that comes from this glycogen Next, uh, say uh, you know you catch an infection or you have fever. So the calories required to fight any infection, the additional requirement of these calories are met by use of this glycogen. So in, in a normal person, the insulin would A, uh, make the uh, you know like uh, glucose reach the cells for energy utilization and we store it in the liver as glycogen. But what happens in diabetes? In diabetes, either the insulin is not produced in sufficient quantity or uh, the insulin is ineffective. Whatever uh, you know, the amount is produced, it is not able to perform its function properly. So then the level of the sugar keeps increasing in the blood and it is not utilized in the way it is supposed to be. So that is when a person is termed as a diabetic. Now how is diabetes different from pre-diabetes? So if a person, you know, uh, blood if a person is having a high blood sugar, but uh, you know, certain parameters are set that if a person's sugar will be higher than this level, then he will be termed as a diabetic. So when the levels are more than normal, but less than a diabetic range, the person will be known as a pre-diabetic. Now, pre-diabetic person has the, uh, you know, capability of turning around this problem. If he takes care, if he takes a proper diet, if he take, you know, does a lifestyle change, he may avoid uh, being a diabetic in future. But if he continues with the, you know, uh, the faulty lifestyle, the faulty, uh, faulty uh, eating habits, he will uh, surely become a diabetic in a uh, maximum of 10 years. Now, what is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance what happens is that like I said that the cells uh, you know the insulin takes the gl uh, glucose molecule uh, to these cells. The cells are supposed to receive this insulin uh, the uh, this energy uh, this uh, glucose and use it for the uh, energy requirement. But sometimes what happens is that these cells they develop a resistance a you know a, a aversion towards this insulin. They do not let this insulin provide them uh, the glucose and hence the level of glucose keeps increasing in the blood. So the person ends up with a high uh, sugar level despite having uh, proper insulin levels. So this necessarily may not be a diabetic person but if an insulin resistant person uh, you know continues with the kind of uh, lifestyle he has he may in future become a diabetic. 
Now, what causes this insulin resistance? The insulin resistance is usually caused by a faulty lifestyle. A person who doesn't exercise, who doesn't rest well, is under a under a lot of stress. Who doesn't uh, who eats a very high carbohydrate, very high calorie diet, very high fat diet, uh, is usually into a lot of junk food. These uh, kind of people are more prone to developing insulin resistance. So this is all about what is diabetes, uh, what is pre-diabetes and what is insulin resistance. In my next video, in my follow-up video, I will be talking about how to manage all of the three through diet. So I will see you in my next video. I hope this was uh, useful to you. If you like this uh, video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like uh, this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you.